Hello and welcome to another video from Paraplays. And today we're going back to Squad. I haven't played Squad for oof, a long time, actually. Recently on on Steam, it's been updated to version 9 and they really have kind of moved it on a little bit. It's a little bit unfair, I think, to still keep calling it an alpha. It doesn't feel like an alpha. But with it, with the recent update, there are new vehicles, motorbikes, uh, there's like a Bradley type vehicle. And there's also this new map. Now, a lot of people in squad have been screaming out, asking for sort of like an urban fighting map. And here here we are. Do you know, I can't remember the name of it. I'll put it in the description. So I thought I'll download, I'll get the update, jump in, have a look, and see what it's like. And having played a, just a couple of matches, it's actually really enjoyable. It's definitely got a different feel to it to the other maps. It feels very much like... I'm going to put it in real terms, it'd be like, it's got that Black Hawk sort of vibe to it, you know, Iraq, Syria kind of a vibe to it. And uh, if you've played some of the maps in Project Reality, then it's got quite a similar vibe to it. So, as usual, I'm going to be playing as the Saw, and unfortunately for me, on the previous game here, there was three or four Arabs, shall we say, who ran along that barbed wire, and they got absolutely friggin' mullered. The Saw just ripped them in two, there were rags and all sorts. All over the place. So what we'll do is, I don't know why this knobhead behind me is trying to shoot the own building with a 50 cal knobhead. But anyway, let's get in and have a look at a little bit of close quarter stuff, moving through these compounds and through the streets. And you can see there is a real potential here for, for brilliant team play. Not so much in this, a little bit running around, you know, as the saw would be laid down covering. But as you can see on screen, now there are multi-level tier buildings, so the enemies can like pop up fire an RPG and go back down again and that's that's part of it so let's get a little bit further in and I'll give you a little bit more feedback as we move down through this building trying to clear it because we're getting mullered by RPGs and fire from this building to Uriah one other thing I want to say as well is the smoke what the fuck have they done to the smoke it used to be brilliant in this game now it, it comes out of the canister like a thousand times too fast and it's just no good for cover but anyway let's get a little bit further in <laughs> Did you miss it? Or did you make it? Yeah, I missed it. Alright, I'm gonna shoot a rocket out there. Back blast. Back blast. Right in this building, I'm down. Right at the stairs. All the way up. <laughs> He's on the stairs. After we eventually clear this building on the right, we go in. Usually you would send the saw gunner in first, but in this case, because we're on a public server, the communication and teamwork's not, not really there, even though it kind of is. It's, it's one of those things where squad, because it's quite brutal death-wise, you do tend to get together as a squad and, and move. It kind of like forces you to do it. It feels very much like Project Reality. It's, it has got not quite as brutal as Project Reality, but it has definitely got that certain vibe to it. So once we've actually cleared this building, over on the left here, we're going to go out, and this is really where, if the enemy had an RPK or a vehicle, the whole squad would just be finished. But of course, I suppose a lot of players are learning this map, and with it being a free weekend as well, then you are free to, you know, come in and try new things, and that's that's how it works. So let's get across here, and have a little look, and I'll give you some final thoughts as we get further in. I bet they have clear, no clear, there. Clear, this, clear. This is clear. Let's move. Let's move with the others.
trying to get to the east of this part. Really, at this sort of position, this is where the saw gunner would be as the rest of the guys go straight across the street, covering over to the right. Don't really know the map, and... Well, there's no excuses, really. That that kind of is the role of the saw. I should be really covering this street, or if we get to a compound or a building, the saw should be going in first to clear the building out. But, it is what it is. Jump in, have a go. It is the free weekend. Squad has definitely got its own little niche within the market. It's, it is that stepping stone into getting into Project Reality, so... If you really want to get into sort of like urban combat, then this is just going to be an absolutely ideal map. There are vehicles, as I mentioned, on this. And eventually we do know that we're going to be getting helos and jets much further down the road. But it is what it is. It feels great. It's got that slow, much slower pace than a majority of the other games, which is Battlefield 1, which is very arcadey. But give it a go. Hats off to squad, you know. I, I have been involved in squad since day one. In fact, before day one, I am an original day one backer. I get special skins and my name in the credits. And as you know, a few little fallouts with the game and the community. But, you know, it's all in the past. So it was time to jump back in. And, you know, I can see where my addiction for squad came. And I'm sure I'll be jumping in and playing a few more games, especially with the B-Var lads. They're a good bunch. Anyway, I shall see you in another video coming... No doubt real soon, I don't know whether that's going to be Witcher or Squad or an Airsoft video. I am booked in to play up at Cerberus this weekend, so I may take the cameras up. New site, new people, new games. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. I've been Paraplayers, and this has been Squad version 9, which is a free weekend on Steam to play right now. Bye-bye. Need help?